He needs a five or a ten to make it straight. Here it comes. Will he get it? No. no. He does make a pair of sevens. But that's a little bit of a scare card, and then it makes a straight possibility in case he held a ten and a jack. Well, now he's thinking to himself, do I continue to I try to bluff this hand? No, he's not. Well, it's going to go check, check. Pair of sevens. And Moneymaker's going to win this pot with two kings. Yes, he does. Nice size pocket, Chris Moneymaker. But you have to like the way Moneymaker played that hand on the flop. He just called on the flop. He made his move on 4th Street when the three came off. Chris Moneymaker with so many fans. He won a major tournament last year. Great guy, too. His father in the audience. Nice to have your family here when you're going after millions. <laughs> Of course, yeah. that's really not the time you need your family around, when you? No, but that's when they show up, Vince. Yeah, it seems <laughs> like it. Well, the action's going to be on Masood. He's got a queen five off suit. He's going to go out. Now around to Scott. He's picked up a pair of sevens here. He's got the sunset strip, 77. Well, they're called walking sticks in England. Forty. Forty thousand he bets. Round well, to Phil Gordon. This time Phil's got an ace five of clubs. He Phil opts to call. Chris Moneymaker. King seven of diamonds. Lowers the sunglasses too, throws it away. Susie's picked up a nice hand in the big blind, the King Jack of Clubs. Yeah, she does. Susie Homemaker. Let's see if she'll get involved here. Well, she's on the short stack here. What she's contemplating is, do I want to play it? And if I do, do I just call or do I move oh. in? Oh, she's just going to call it. Yes, she is. She's just calling. We're going to see a flop here. Three-way action. Nearly 140,000 in the pot right now. Here comes a flop. Jack, ten, deuce. Look at that, Susie's hit top pair, Jacks. That's on her first. Well, it's hard to believe she'll fool around with this. Look at this, she's going all in. Yeah, she's going to do it. No free cards for anybody, not fussing around. She doesn't have that much money. Only got 90000 left. She moves all in. Now, Scott, two sevens just shrunk up a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's the danger of playing those mid pairs softly. If it doesn't flop a set, you're usually in trouble. Look at him. Does not like this position right now. Well, even if she has a king-queen here, Vince, even if she had a straight draw, or if she had a flush draw, she wouldn't be an underdog to two sevens here. And Scott wisely lays this yes, hand down. Does. Now Phil with the ace high. Oh, oh. Look, he's getting out the binoculars there, Vince. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's funny. Well, he's zooming in on Susie. She is a good-looking lady. Nothing like taking a few props to the poker table. Well, he calls this his tail meter, but, uh, you know, a guy that carries around binoculars, Vince, you got to wonder what he did in college, you know? <laughs> Where's the trench coat, Phil? <laughs> that was about 80000 So chip leader making jokes here, lots of gags. And the short stack picking up a pot, so everybody happy here. So Phil Gordon trying to soften up his competitors with a little laughter. But right now it's going to be on the Canadian Scott Wilson with a 6-4. He folds. Uh, Phil's got an interesting jack-10 of clubs this time. Phil calls 16, and he's just going to call with it. Chris folds. Chris is out. And to Susie Kim. Susie in the small bind with 8-6 off suit. She folds. On to Masood. Masood in the big blind has picked up two sevens. Go ahead. He says go ahead. He just checks. He doesn't raise with the pair after Phil Gordon limped in. So here comes a flop. 10-9-3 with two spades. Oh, that is nice for Phil. He's hit the top pair. Masood getting up some chips. Check. But he checks. 
Bill Gordon is flop top pair, best 25,000. I raise. Raise. But Masood has checked and raised this. And believe me, if you're Phil Gordon, you don't like to be check raised by this guy. 60 more. 50. Because he's a pretty solid player. He's gone up 50,000 more, but look at this. Phil quickly calling it. Yep, without hesitation, he calls with a top pair. So here we go to 4th Street. Turn card. Here it is. Next card is a five of diamonds. Helps neither player. 50. Now he's betting 50,000. 50, Phil Gordon 50, quickly calls this bet. Surprised Phil wouldn't raise it there, just in case his opponent was on a draw. We're going to see the river. Here it comes. And the river comes up a four. I check. Now Phil's got to like that card. He turns up his two tens. He doesn't bet. Nice hand. Thank you. Oh, well, he's content just to take this pot. Yep. He's going to win this pot. So Phil Gordon says, give it to me. A $300,000 pot he picks up. Got a lot of chips. Everything looks rosy for Phil Gordon at this moment. Can Phil pull out his first WPT victory, or will he be shot down at Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament? Stay tuned. We'll find out in a moment on the World Poker Tour. Northern California and Bay 101 Shooting Star, this week's stop on the World Poker Tour. I'm Shauna Hyatt, and here's a recap of the action so far. Canadian Mark Mache was the first fatality. Shot down with a short stack by local favorite Masood Shoje, who continues to prove he's more than poker book smart, gunning for chip leader Phil Gordon. It's a little scary when you're betting that much, and I've got this much, right? But Phil, at his second WPT final table, has more than one chip on his shoulder as he attempts to fire rounds at first-timer Susie Kim and the second Canadian, Scott Wilson. Very entertaining, Phil. Very entertaining. But there's another force for Phil to reckon with, champion player Chris Moneymaker, who continues to aim for first place with five players over a million in cash and one shooting star left standing. Everyone is reloading for this showdown at the shooting star. The World Poker Tour has landed in the middle of a shootout here at Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. Players amped up, ready to go. We started with 243. We are down to five. Action on the chip leader. Time looks at an 8-3. He's going to throw it away. On the moneymaker, look at this. He's going to raise it with 9-7 of clubs. Susie quickly going out with Jack 8. Masood throws away 10 5. Now my round to Scott Wilson, who's picked up King 9 of Diamonds. Raise it, uh, making 100 plus the blind, so 116. Well, Scott's in the big blind, but he's going to raise it. He's going to try to push Chris Moneymaker out of this right now. Well, he's raised him 66,000. And Moneymaker's going to look at the flop here, Vince. Look at this call. With the 9-7 of clubs, he's up against King-9 of diamonds. He is one stubborn good old boy, I'll tell you that much. Well, he's looking to gamble. He's in position here. 9-7 versus King-9. Here comes the flop. 7-7-6, seven, seven, bingo, bingo, bongo for Moneymaker. He's flopped three sevens. Oh, and look at him dueling oh, banjos going, going off in his head right now. <laughs> so excited. Action is on Scott, though. Matt doesn't like the Normally when a guy re-raises before the flop, you'd think he'd just go ahead and bet this flop <laughs> when a pair comes out there. But he is slowed down. But he knows if he loses this pot, it's his Waterloo. He'll be out of here. Look at Moneymaker. So still. Balance a dish on his head right now. Oh, what he's saying is, please bet that money you get sitting in front of you. Please bet it. A lot of prayers going on right now. I've flopped three sevens. I want you in there. Will he be able to trap this victim here? Scott Wilson. I'll check it. Scott's doing the check. right thing. He's going to check well, it. He finally checks it. Mullen. Moneymaker Chris says, I'm all in. in. Now that's interesting. Now, Scott only has about 110,000. Well, I'm a little surprised that Moneymaker bet right there, quite frankly. 
I mean, if Scott had a flush draw or any possible straight draw or a big pair, he would have bet on that flop. Well, Once he checked, it looks like there's no card he can catch to win it. I don't have enough to get that shirt off you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly makes it worthwhile. So I'll let you have that one. He's going to go away. Yeah. Yeah. He can't win the bounty when the bounty has more chips than you do. That's what Scott was referring to there. He lays his hand down. So Moneymaker on a little roll here. Whoever busts Chris Moneymaker gets $5,000. What a player this guy is. Only 28 years old. Great player. Accountant turned champion Chris Moneymaker is proving he's not just an overnight success. This Moneymaker knows how to make money. Chris Moneymaker, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm an accountant and uh, play poker on the side. Uh, I've been married to my wife, Kelly, a couple years now. One-year-old daughter just started walking. I have a deal that I'm not going to play full-time. I'm going to keep my job, and I want to stay at home, and she wants me at home. In just three years, this part-timer has earned $2.5 million and become a household name. So how does he handle this newfound notoriety? I can't believe the reception I get. People come up to me all the time. Thank you. Chris, when did I find you? It just it blows my mind. But sudden fame doesn't always bring instant respect. A lot of people have this notion that he has been extremely lucky. I found him to be really a lucky player. Oh, everyone's going to say that, and especially as they walk away from the table, they're going to be upset with it. So is being a target common for this world champion? It's tough. You know, at first I had to adjust my style of play to being a known player. Spent a couple tournaments, get my brains kicked in. Hopefully I've got a little bit better grasp on it now. Call me lucky every time I win or make it to the final table. That's, that's fine. I'll be the luckiest man in the world. So sometimes the obvious play is the right play. Chris Moneymaker making that work. He's now moved into second chip position with 642,000. <laughs> Phil Gordon still our chip leader with nearly a million in chips. Here we go again. It's not see much here, it? um, Scott Wilson. He goes out with an ace eight. When he's on the short stack, some people would play an ace eight there. He opted to fold. Right behind him, Phil Gordon with ace seven of diamonds. Yeah, he comes in for thirty-five thousand. Now it's up to Moneymaker, and look at this. Moneymaker's picked up another nine seven suited. This time hearts. Last time he struck oil with the nine seven of clubs. He calls. As soon as he goes out, now Masood with queen nine. It's going to call as well. So here we go. Three way action. Here's the flop. Flop is 874, all clubs. And here comes Masood. 50. Now he doesn't have any piece of that, but he's betting it. Boy, that's a bold to bet. When you get two players sitting behind you right there. And Phil Gordon has a piece of it. He's got the sevens, and he's going to call it. No club in his hand, though. And notice Moneymaker also has a pair of sevens. <laughs> Getting some heckles in the audience to call this. <laughs> you guys want me to go all in? Uh -huh. <laughs> they asked the audience if they want him to go all in. Crazy. I can tell you his two opponents done. didn't want him to go all in. He either won the pot probably. But here we go. It's heads up action. Here's the turn. Now the board pairs eights. Respect for you. Check. Respect for you, I check. Respect for that horrible hand you have, you mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a better way to put it. Respect for your cash. Well, Phil's not fooling with it. He's going to bet 80000 This is a gutsy bet by Phil. You know, he doesn't have a club in his hand. He's got the sevens. I'm sure he feels his opponent either has a straight draw or a flush draw. Doesn't want to give him a free card to beat him. And Made a very nice bet right there to pick up that pot. Yes, he does. Good things for Phil Gordon. He is back in step. He's taking control. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more World Poker Tour action from Northern California. Welcome back to the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. We saw Phil Gordon start out with a monster chip lead. He lost about half his chips, and now he's back about to where he started the day. Got close to 1.2 million. And the price of poker's gone up again here, Vance. We're now playing with a $3,000 ante. Blinds are 12 and 24,000. Action on the chip leader, Phil Gordon. He takes a peek at an A7. Well, he's feeling good right now. He's picked up 600,000 back after losing 600,000 early today. 
Here he goes again. 